All right, everyone. <clears throat> Let's talk to Hippocrates How about the next mission. How's the patient? He'll survive if I treat his injuries. If? This man is a monster. He's a slave trader who treats people so terribly that they injure themselves just to avoid working for him. <sighs> if I help him, he'll continue to hurt others. But if I choose to do nothing, many will be spared pain and suffering. Um... <clears throat> because that's right. <clears throat> it shouldn't matter what this man has done. He deserves to be treated like anyone else. We can't judge others when they're at our mercy. I know it's my duty to help this man, but if you'd seen some of the injuries I've treated that he's caused, you would understand my doubts. The innocents of the Greek world have suffered enough lately. What if I free his slaves? If he has no slaves, he can't mistreat them anymore, and you'll be able to treat him without guilt. Yes, I can save this man, and you can prevent him from hurting others. Our kindness here will show him the error of his ways, show him a different path to walk. You would do this for me? Yep. Of course I'll free the slaves for you. Thank you, my friend. Where are the slaves being held? I remember paying a visit to a camp on the riverbank east of Lake Copais to treat a slave for self-inflicted injuries. I'd try there. That's a good start. Are hunting parties often attacked this close to the city? It's quite unusual, but with the war raging all around us and the plague consuming everything else, it's no surprise the beasts are becoming more desperate. Yep, yeah, that's definitely true. If the slaves are in danger, I will need to hurry. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, they're all up there. Ah, okay. It's not too far away, actually. Step down here. <coughs> all right. Come on, Phobos, catch up, please. We have work to do. I see him. I see him. All right, come on. Not the way I want to go. God damn it. Is that boring? <laughs> no, of course it isn't.
Go. Good. Just get out of here. Can someone get me out? You have given me my freedom. How can I ever repay you? Leave. That's how you can repay us. Good. <clears throat> well, at least we don't have to go halfway through the camp. That's always a good start. Thank you for freeing us. That beast Galeos has worked us all to the brink of death. Now I can return home to my family. Well, there's a good start. Of some kind, anyway. <laughs> it's not the best, but it is a start, after all. And as such, the, <clears throat> the search for the elusive go to the obsidian A continues. <clears throat> I wonder if the go the obsidian eye was ever actually found in the game. <laughs> oh, well, that's just oh, well, that's Ubisoft's idea of a joke. I got no idea. It'd be kind of cool and kind of funny at the same time if actually was a real thing. My job, I would imagine it'd be, you know, that'd be a true Kodak moment, as they say. They'd photo book the hell out of it, I would imagine, though. <coughs> I haven't seen any mention of it either, so. Maybe it's just Ubisoft's idea of a joke. Although there are strange mythological mysteries out there, so... It's not that far-fetched. Although, with a goat, that is rather far-fetched, unless that's not the actual meaning. But anyway, I guess we'll find out, won't we? If we ever do. <laughs> I freed the slaves. I've treated his injuries enough to stabilize him, but he isn't out of danger yet. I don't know if I can bring myself to complete the treatment. So you're just going to stand here and watch this man die? You need to do what you do best and heal him. It's what the gods put you here to do. Help people, not judge them. If I do nothing, I'll be no better than him. I'll make sure he recovers. When he does, be sure to tell him how his life was in our hands. Only the gods have the power to decide life and death. What I do is insignificant compared to their benevolence. I've seen you save many from a trip down the sticks. But look at the plague. For all my knowledge and experience, I could do nothing against it. I have to accept that my reach only goes so far. Thank you for your help, my friend. I must go. I have an appointment with a patient elsewhere. So, finished that one, have we? I'll just double check. Well, it's, well apart from the Sphinx, but, uh. <coughs> excuse me. All right, let us head over here. So I double check now. Romancing the Stone Garden is the lengthy quest line that would lead to the Petrified Temple. So that will be 
one of, if not the last set of side missions we do in this game. At least in this Bay game and Bay Air Fantasy. After that, we'll be focusing on the DLCs and whatnot. When they come out, of course. <laughs> Save it first. <coughs> if you have time, <coughs> oh, excuse me, God. If you have time. In this episode, I am going to attempt to take on Stedops. Stedopes. The other psych. One of the Cyclopses of ancient Greece, which is a contract. I've saved it till last because we're going to have to fight the Cyclops, the Minotaur, and all that kind of thing. So, I'd like to have a practice run, as it were. Plus, it'd be pretty cool to see another Cyclops in the game, wouldn't it? <laughs> But that's all assume we have time <clears throat> to do it. Yeah, we have at least, what, a good 20 minutes to half an hour to spare? I will attempt it. Why the hell am I running? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Wait, that's not what I think it is, is it? I can't tell whether that was on the symbols for... <laughs> In that temple for Cosmos. I hope it wasn't. Guess we'll find out, won't we? I hope you're here to buy fish and not just hang about. Your face looks more sour than this fishy stink. Why shouldn't I be sour, huh? My no good son sailed off with my boat and should have been back hours ago. Probably showing off for that Mitilini girl. <clears throat> He's probably just lost track of time. I'm sure he'll be back eventually. Of course he'll be back eventually, but I need him back now. These fish are not going to skin themselves, you know. Say, have you got time for an errand? Go look for my boy on the bay bordering the petrified valley and ancient pearl. And when you find him, scare him a bit to teach him a lesson. I'll pay you for it. All right. I'll do it. Good. You find him and I'll turn his hide. Okay, slightly extreme, but... And where exactly is this bay? Fisherman's Bay is northeast of here and runs through the middle of our island. You can't miss it. Good point. Tell me more about the girl. I don't know. Some Mitilini, lovely, full of history and poetry from that school over there. She keeps my boy's head in the clouds instead of focused on his work. Well, that's your version of it. Let's quit chatting so I can go find your son. See that you do. I'll pay you, and then my boy's hide will pay for taking my boat out. That's just extreme. I know he's angry, but even so. Time to search Fisherman's Bay. Right. Oh, it's not as far as I thought it was. Go this way and go around. Come <clears throat> <sighs> on, follow us. There we are. Looks like I passed in the middle of the lake, so this could get a bit interesting. we 
go. Hmm. Was this a general area? Let me guess. There's Fisherman's Bay. Hmm. <coughs> Let me guess. They can't return because there is a big shark in the water. Why do I get the impression that's the reason? And if you're curious, it's written. There's the fishing boat. But where's the fisherman's son? in the water. Oh, that was quick. It's the fisherman's son. The fisherman's son. Looks like he got tangled up in the net trying to haul a heavy load of fish. Slipped, and the weight of the net dragged him down. That's really a very, very sad end. Jesus. Wow. I'm not, I'm not kidding, that is a really sad weight. Huh. And what would the father will regret what he's saying? Guess we'll find out, won't we? Jeez. I thought the shark had eaten him, but no. Looks like he was just trying to do his, his job and his part and... It was too much for him to take. <laughs> Literally speaking. Wow. Puts a new emphasis on sayings, doesn't it? Huh. Oh well. Now to the Lewis and bad news. Of us. Uh, where's the entrance gone? There we are. given the bad news then <clears throat> any word on my son um your son is dead drowned in his fishing net no my boy my poor boy i pushed him too hard Well, at least he feels remorse, so that's one good thing. <clears throat> well, let's save it. <coughs> Alright, we have time. <clears throat> it is time to do the... Well, I, I could not exactly practice much, but do the lightning blinger. Excuse me, we're going to attempt to kill Stelopis. This may make a fool out of me, it may not. But we won't know until we try. 
So this could make get make things quite interesting. <clears throat> Head outside of that. <coughs> so luckily, I'm going to be using quite a lot. I'm going. I want to try something out. <coughs> There's a lot of the devastating shot, and I really want to give that a go. Because if that can, if that's like a a semi easy kill, <clears throat> you tie that with the um, the flame tactics, <clears throat> um, like the we can coat your sword in flames, right? That sort of tactic, then that would go. A relatively a relatively quicker and better and good path uh, an easier option to defeat the Cyclops and Minotaur <coughs> Medusa is going to be a whole different ball game completely different Come on, head up there for God's sake. Seriously, you're gonna stop halfway through a mountain? Really? Now what I'm going to do is re-equip. It's level 59, which is not exactly brilliant, but never mind. Yeah, I'm not really a brilliant fan of poison damage. I am a fan of of um <clears throat> Oh, fire damage, much more than poison. Alright. <clears throat> We've got our flaming bows. How many do we have? I want to go into this fight for the full complement. Okay. <clears throat> got plenty of arrows, got explosive arrows as well, so that's alright. Now there is one specific place this is going to be. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, God. It's a really nice, really nice, beautiful island. You got to admit. Okay. There he is. What, is he just roaming around, or <clears throat> is he in the cave? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay. <clears throat> right, my tactics. <clears throat> Now the one thing I do want to do with this one is I want to try at some point that other tactic. So I'm going to switch it over because I want to use the sixth sense ability. Okay. That was a terrible miss, wasn't it? Oh, that was... Sh Right, let's switch to... That didn't quite work. OK, 
God damn it. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Trying long range shots first. The hell? Well, that was terrible. I'm not anticipating it very well, am I? Okay. Oop. God, he's subtle. Whoa. Ah, no, you don't. Right. All right, let's see if I can anticipate him slightly. Oh. Not quite. Damn it. Ooh, this guy is difficult. Ah! Not dodging fast enough. Oh, come on. Yeah, nice try. Good, got him. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start using my other weapon. Oh, I've got it already. That didn't quite work. Ooh. Oh god. Don't tell me he's charger rage now. Gotcha. Okay, I see you attack something. Oh, he's angry. Ah, 
Gotcha. Oh. Oh ho ho. Just. Come on. Damn, I'm not predicting you. Come on. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oof. Oh, okay. Not bad. What? Yeah, nice try. Oh, whoa. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Then get some hits. Yes, come on. That's up. Come on. Ah. Oh. Yep, nice try, buddy. Three, four. Okay. Oh. Gotcha. Yep, miss me. Oh. Oh, narrowly missed that one. Oh. Okay. Damn it. Didn't anticipate that one. Come on. Yep, after ch two, three, four. Whoops. Excellent. Bit by bit. Whoops. He's pissed off, all right. Okay. All right. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes, one more. Yes! Oh! Beautiful! Oh!
Even level 60. Beautiful. Oh. Well, 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 my god. Huh. Let's have a look at what we got. Whew. That took a lot out of me. <coughs> wow. Flame arrows, that's... Hard to... Ch charge bow? Okay. That actually... <clears throat> that actually would be a decent arrow to switch between, believe it or not. It might actually be worth upgrading both of them. <clears throat> for those fights. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> Ah, oh, wow, that took a lot out of me. They definitely had that took a lot longer than I thought it would, so... Oh, excuse me. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm glad we did that. Because that tells me for the future fights, I have to be very patient. Have to be very careful, read his movements and do everything else. That's really good. All right, everyone, we're going to end this episode here. <clears throat> Next time, we will be beginning the last part of our journey in the Odyssey, at least in this main game. And that will be, we will be starting the challenges for Atlantis. The first one being the Law of the Sphinx. So that will be next time, unless I can, unless... By some reason, another side mission comes before that, then we'll do that. Otherwise, we will be starting off next episode with the Law of the Sinks. I will see you then.